Finding the right icons is a great way to enhance the look and feel of your app, and there's no shortage of icon libraries out there. Whether you want a serious vibe, a playful one, or you're in a silly goofy mood, chances are there's an open source library that fits your aesthetic. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Iconify, which is not an icon library, but an icon framework that makes it easy to find open source icons and use them in your app. With Iconify, you get access to hundreds of different libraries, and then add these icons to your app in a consistent way. This means that you can mix and match between different libraries really smoothly. It's the icon framework that powers tons of popular tools, so we're going to take a look at a few of the ways to use it inside your View or Nuxt apps. Probably the easiest way to get set up is using Iconify's built-in view component. So if we install at Iconify slash view, we can go to anyone in our view app, import a component called icon, and then when we use it, it takes a prop called icon where we can specify which icon out of the thousands of options we want to use. In order to check all the icon libraries, I personally go to icons.js.org, which is a nice way to search everything available on Iconify with their licenses, names, SVG code, and other things you might want when developing. So let's say I want this icon. We can copy the name from here, pass it to our prop, and then there's a couple different options to change our display mode, size, any mirroring, and color. So using this approach is pretty straightforward, but one downside is that the view component will fetch the icon data when the component is mounted, meaning it's not sent on the initial request. This can cause a flash of unstyled content and might not be suitable for SSR or SSG since the SVG is not being bundled into your build and sent on the initial response. If that's important to you, another way to use Iconify is using the Unplugin Icons library, which will provide a specific component for each icon that you use, and all of this will end up inside of your bundled app. So let's install it, and then we can either add specific icon libraries as dependencies by saying at Iconify JSON slash whatever library you want, or we can install everything on Iconify as a dependency with at Iconify slash JSON. And one note here is that only the icons that you actually import and use will end up being bundled the interior production app. But regardless of what we install, we have to do a little extra configuration for this library. For example, in a VDAP, we first have to install view compiler SFC or single file component as a peer dependency. And then in our vconfig, we want to import icons, add it as a plugin, and then set our compiler to view three. Then to actually use them, inside of a view component, we can import with a convention icons slash collection slash icon. And this will give us a component specific to the icon that we can use easily inside of our template. This is great for VDAPs, but if you're using Nuxt, I recommend using the Nuxt icon library. It's built by the Nuxt core team and gives us an easy way to access Iconify that works in Nuxt 3 with SSR and everything. And to get set up, all we have to do is install Nuxt icon as a dependency and then add it as a module in our Nuxt config. Once it's set up, we get access to an auto-imported icon component where we can specify the name, size, color, and any other SVG options we want. If you haven't noticed by now, there's so many different ways to use Iconify depending on your stack and tech requirements. I like to keep these videos short, so I'm just going to rapid fire a few other popular ways. And as always, I'll leave links to all the docs for these in the description. If you use Uno CSS, Iconify powers the icons preset, allowing you to use CSS classes to add icons to your app. Similar to Nuxt icon, there's Astro icon. These are also available as web components. Also, you could get the SVG code yourself and add them to your app manually. And finally, as one last tip, I've been loving the VS Code extension for Iconify that replaces icon names with an actual visual of the icon itself. This makes the code way more scannable, and as soon as you click on a line, you can see the full class name so you can quickly make edits. So I hope this convinced you to give Iconify a shot. It's a really cool library, and the creator of it's actually seen the channel before, so that's pretty cool. But completely unbiased opinion, it's been my favorite way to access thousands of icons fast, and I think a lot of people in the community share this based on how many libraries are being built on top of it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.